Maine lobsterman Jason Joyce didn't support then-candidate Donald Trump in 2016, but he's supporting him now. The eighth-generation crustacean catcher endorsed Trump during Tuesday's installment of the 2020 Republican National Convention, angling to help the incumbent pick up some support in traditionally Democrat-held New England. I didn't support Trump in 2016, he said. Skeptical that he shared my conservative views, I expected him to flip-flop on his campaign promises. But he has followed through on his promises, including last week when he brokered a deal to end European Union tariffs of 8% on Maine live lobsters and up to 20% on Maine lobster products, which is great news for Maine's lobstermen and women. The European Union last week agreed to eliminate tariffs on U.S. lobsters, which should be a boon to the hard-hit industry, and to Trump's standing among Mainers like Joyce. As long as Trump is president, fishing families like mine will have a voice, Joyce said. But if Democratic challenger Joe Biden wins, he'll be controlled by the environmental extremists who want to circumvent long-standing rules and impose radical changes that hurt our coastal communities. I strongly support President Trump's re-election, he continued. When he sees something isn't right, he's fearless in fixing it. Maine is one of just two states, along with Nebraska, in which it is possible for presidential candidates to split electoral votes. In 2016, Trump captured one of the state's four electoral votes, while Hillary Clinton snagged the balance.